Hey guys! Today I will be showing you how to paint roses using simple techniques and steps. You just need to follow some basic steps in the right order and you will be able to paint roses like these. I will show you how to paint this little one right here so that the video isn't too long and boring. But the technique that will be used can be applied to bigger roses like these. Let's just get into the tutorial, shall we? For today's tutorial, I will be using the Sublime Watercolor Pack and the Delicate and Dainty Canvas. But you can use any canvas that you have and everything will be linked below in the description box. I've drawn two sketches for you guys. One is the mini rose and the other one is the bigger rose. And after you download it, you can insert it like this. And now we'll just bring down the opacity. And let's make a new layer so that we can start to color. Let's zoom in a little bit. And we're going to be using the hard edge brown brush for the majority of this tutorial. I'm picking a light pink for the rose, but feel free to use whatever color you like for the rose. I'm trying my best to not go over the pencil lines, and you can just reduce the brush size and then fill in these smaller areas. Once you have the petal all colored, you're going to blur out these lines or overlaps using the basic blender. So that is the first basic step when it comes to painting these roses. You just make a separate layer for all of the petals and you paint them all separately. And this makes it a lot more easier later on when you're trying to add stamps and like watermarks. And so I'm going to paint all of them right now on separate layers and show you the next steps. So this is how it looks like with the first layer of paint. It's all on separate layers. We now have to decorate it so that it looks more like real watercolor. To make things easier, we are going to add a new layer on top of each existing layer like this. And then we're going to make all those layers into a clipping mask. And we're just going to start working on this petal here. So you just select the clipping mask layer above and select any pink, slightly darker than the one we have right now. And we're using the hard edge round brush. And simply just paint loosely around the pencil lines like this. Because we're working on the clipping mask layer, these paint strokes will not go over the area that's been painted below. Then we're going to use the basic blender and push that paint towards the pencil line and it's going to create this light outline. So what we are doing right now is just creating an outline that will make this petal pop from the rest of the flower. Now we can start to fill in this empty space right here. And I'm going to select um, a darker pink and select one of the stamp brushes. I'm selecting bloom number two here. And I'm just going to see how it looks like. It's a little too big, so I'm going to bring down the size. And feel free to experiment with different stamps and colors to decorate the petal. You can zoom out a bit to see how it looks like. So I'm just going to try out different colors and stamps.
At this point, I want to make the outline a bit more bold, so I'm going to select a darker pink. And you can use either the hard edge round brush or the bold medium brush for this. I'm going to use the bold medium. And you can bring down the size. And you just go over the pencil lines. And it will kind of create a faint line that's really subtle. Having a bit of that subtlety is important since watercolor paintings do not have harsh lines. I guess it's looking alright, so I'm going to paint the rest of the petals in the same method. If a petal is at the back and you want to emphasize that, you can paint over this division line. I guess it's a division line to make the flower have that 3D look. And you might want to blur it out a little bit so that it's soft rather than being it too bold. When you zoom out, you'll be able to tell what that line is doing for the overall painting. Now that we're done painting the petals, we basically use the same technique to decorate the stem. I'll just show you guys very quickly. So we go to the layer above the leaf right here, and it's a clipping mask layer. And I'm going to use a darker green and just use the stamps just like how we did before. And again, we just use different stamps and colors and experiment. And one other thing that I can show you is Let's get the toothy pencil and select a greenish color. And just draw some lines that we typically see on a leaf. And it can be very subtle. And basically it's the same method again utilizing different stamps to make various watermarks and shades. So guys, that is how you can paint roses. I didn't want to show the whole process because it is really repetitive and I didn't want to bore you guys with a very long video. In comparison to real watercolor, it is a bit more time consuming since you're not dealing with single strokes. But the advantages of using Procreate is that you really don't mess up. With real watercolor, when you do mess up, it's really hard to fix that or even fix it at all. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial today. And if you have, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you have any requests for tutorials, please let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching guys and see you in the next one.